What's up, Doom Nation? It is Skaggs here, and welcome back to A Slice of Doom, Episode 7. I am joined, as always, by one-third of the Doughboys, the king of the trash realm, Jimbo the Kid. What's going on, buddy? I'm hanging out here, and we had a little bit of an interesting topic. Last night, right before I went to bed, there was some commotion on Twitter, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty late, and uh, I saw a couple tweets, and I was like, ah, whatever, and I went to bed. Boy, when I woke up this morning... Well, there you are. You're in the dark. Try and keep it nice and suspenseful. Anyway, when I woke up this morning, oh my God, a shitstorm has ignited on social media and on the internet around the slap heard around the world uh, at the Oscars by uh, Will Smith slapping a shit out of Chris Rock on stage. My bad. Yeah, that's right. So technical difficulties, we're back. So yeah, man, um, I went to bed, saw a little bit of it before I went to bed, woke up. The internet is aflame a, a with memes, with hot takes, with terrible takes. Um, pretty wild. What do, you, what do you think about what's going on? Uh, yeah, like you, man, I, uh, I pulled up to my house around like 1030-ish. I would say roughly that's when it happened-ish. Uh, and then in the group chat that we belong in, uh, someone shared and it said, um, Will Smith slaps Chris Rock. Now, I, you know, I judge the thumbnail and I'm like, maybe it's like a skit, maybe a funny skit that, you know, maybe they nailed one for once, um, you know. And uh, so when I saw it, I was like, um, I could have wrapped my head around it because it's Will Smith. Right. He's got that like persona to him. He's yeah. like the rock, the equivalent of the rock. Uh, a nice, simple guy, everyday guy. He puts you on know, that facade. Let's put that that facade. Yeah. yeah. And uh, boy. Was I wrong? I, I just like, I just, I was shocked, shocked. And, um, just so, yeah, like, Damn, I, bro. I, I couldn't like, help myself. Philly came out. Philly came out. It did, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it, but yeah, I, I, I couldn't help myself. And I had to text, uh, Jimbo immediately. And I was like, this is right up our alley for a slice of doom yeah, emergency yeah, yeah. episode. We got to record it tonight get it out as fast as possible. So here we are. Uh, I figured we can, uh, we can watch, and, uh, and then what we'll, you know, we'll give our takes as we, uh, as we go. So here we go. Oh, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? Oh, <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I could, oh, okay. That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out. For All right. I don't know. What, what, are, you, what are your thoughts? I, I don't buy it. Um, not one bit? No. That was the first time I, I, I've watched the actual video straight through also. And I've had my suspicions, obviously, from the beginning. Um, but man, that, that, that slap didn't even look real. It, it, it almost yeah. looked, it didn't sound real. didn't look real at, at least from there, but good. So yeah, there's some, there's some, uh, that's the first th- thought that, that ran into everybody's mind. It's like, oh, this is staged, right? Like this is, this is definitely, you, you were talking about actors, the yeah. highest level quality of actors altogether in one spot. Will Smith, great actor, obviously yeah. the best part about this whole situation is that he walked away with an award that's the greatest thing ever and uh, not once did he apologize not once did he apologize not you know he apologized to the academy but not to uh chris rock but um yeah it, it looks it looks as if it, it is fake 
Um, I seen like a frame by frame, uh, picture to picture. I mean, obviously the quality is not that you great. Went, but he does deep, make some skin contact. He pitted analysis. Yeah, yeah. He did make some skin contact, right? Um, it looked as if Chris Rock was expecting it, but Chris Rock is also from you know New York City, so you know he he definitely knows when someone's gonna smack the shit out of him, I guess. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's I I I think it's real, dude. Honestly, I think it's real, and I'll tell you why. The simple fact that he yelled really loud uh, and saying, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Like, if it was staged, he wouldn't have said fuck, especially at the Academy Awards. Like, he's risking his own career. And I get, and I get the Oscars, you know, their ratings are down and stuff, and, uh, you know, it's a great po- – it's a big possibility that maybe – that but for him to get to that level and said what the way he said it, it, it I, I I think it's real in the sense because of what Will and Jada have been through in the past couple of years. I think that okay. So I, I'm so fair enough. I'm not aware. I'm not up on the Will and Jada times. I don't know what they've been through. Yeah. Um. So so that fair fair point. I, I have can no we, idea. Can we break it down a little bit though? I mean, I, I've been. If you want to, but but I guess we will. We will. But first, okay. you know, let, let me go, let me go back to, to my point here. Yeah. Because uh, I'm going to sh- share some sticks with you. I don't think you fully appreciate how bad the ratings of the Oscars really are the past couple of years. <laughs> All right. So I have them right here. Oh, those that are man. listening. My man. If you want to put it up against 2014, where they were, I guess, were at their peak of 43.7 million people tuning in. Last year, 2021, they had only 10.4 million people tune in to the Oscars, and they've seen a precipitous drop every single year since 2014, uh, and, and it's only getting worse. Um, look, people, I think, are tired of celebrities going up on the stage, giving them their pulpit speech about how they're so virtuous and how you need to do this and you need to do that, uh, and they don't practice what they preach. And no one's watching this shit anymore, right? This is exactly what the Oscars needed. Everybody, including us, right? We're, we're just as guilty, right? Mm-hmm. No shame. Here we are. We're, we're, we're dissecting it. It's talking yeah. about this today. Everyone's talking about the Oscars. Everybody's watching that. People are going to go now and, and watch it on demand. Um, and you bet your fucking ass. Next year, them ratings are going to be up. Oh. 100%. They'll probably be back over 20 million next year because people are going to want to see part two. Are they going to reference it? Is is Will Smith going to come out and redeem himself after a year of being put down? Without a doubt, it's fucking staged, dude. Yeah. These are two professional actors. Yes, Chris Rock is a comedian, but he's an actor as well. They're great at doing this stuff. Will Smith is one of the goats of all time, bro. He's he's a legend. Yeah, uh, He knows how to act. I don't yeah. buy it. I'm sorry. We, we'll get into Jada and, and Will's problems. Um, I didn't think the joke was that serious. I thought it was, I, I don't get the reference hundred percent. I know GI Jane, GI Jane was, uh, was, was like, you know, shaved head in the, in the uh, movie. So it, it, it was, you know, if you want to go down that route, it was a, a, a soft joke from, from Chris Rock. Joke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I don't buy it. I don't buy it. So let's, let's go get it, get yeah, into compared, the, the meat and potatoes of what's going on here. Compared to like a, a comedian, like Ricky Gervais, remember when he roasted all of them, but he went for the jugular for all of them. I yeah. mean, that's a different type of quality of a comedian that, you know, he'll go straight for the uh, the heart. And um, Chris Rock, that wasn't even a crazy joke. It was just a G.I. Jane reference. However, um, it's, it's a weird situation if you watch it, man, because in the beginning, you see uh, Will Smith laughing at the joke. Yeah, right. He was. But then you see Jada turn around and she looked uncomfortable and she looked like true. she was offended, you know. And I guess he just looked over to her and she probably said something to him or maybe the way she looked. And he probably felt some type of way that he had to, you know, defend his wife's honor and go up there and handle business. Um, I don't agree with, with what he did. I think he should have done it in private. I think he should have talked to, you know, um, and this is to your point about the uh, ratings and how people are fed up with watching these elite celebrities together. Uh, you can't get a perfect example of how these elite members of society are treated you witness a man get if this is real you witness a man get assaulted on stage assaulted if we were if we me and you were at a comedy show right and let's say you got offended and i wanted to defend your honor for my boy i'm gonna be like oh that's i'm fucking i'm mad and i go up on stage and i cock back and slap or hit the guy what are they gonna do to me they're gonna kick me out 
This security, you know, handcuffs, bro. Yeah. Co- cops are going to be called. It's over. So he sat there the whole entire time, and he accepted his award. So there's a big disconnect between, you know, uh, uh, our society of the caste system. And nobody wants to mention that. Everybody's like, oh, you know, Will, you know, like he assaulted a guy and he's and 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 nobody arrested him on national TV. If this is real, you know, yeah. um, so real quick, let's yeah. let's go to his acceptance speech and uh, let's see what he had to say. Uh, <laughs> Richard Williams um, <laughs> was a fierce defender of his family. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take Abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, Be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Give me a fucking break. (laughs) You think I'm going to be convinced even more after that that it was real? Are you fucking joking me? Mm -hmm. That that speech seems prepared, first of all. Yeah. Wow, I mean, again, he's an actor. He's a goat. I'm not taking anything away from Will Smith. His fucking talents are on display. Give me a break. On top of the fact that the entire speech you just gave was completely hypocritical. I need to protect people. You need to be able to take things and, and you know, and nowadays, and it's stressful, you know, hurtful things towards you. You got off your fucking ass and you slapped a guy in the face. You committed a physical act of violence. Look, bro, I don't think it's real. I think it's completely bullshit. If you want to get a little bit more ideological with like some of the things going wrong in society right now, freedom of speech is under attack. Comedy as an institution is under an attack. I don't believe this is real, but he is advocating for violence against the freedom of speech, violence against fucking comedy. It was a joke. It wasn't violent. It was a light joke, if you want to even pretend that it was fucking real. And no, he's over here. He's the hero because he went up there and he punched a Nazi in the face. That's exactly what this is fucking symbolizing to me, yeah. at least. In a, and, and this is what they do at things like the Oscars, right? They put on a show. And they virtue signal about all these ideological causes and things that they believe in and how you're evil. My opinion, this is like an embodiment, some sort of symbolic fucking attack on the freedom of speech. He punched a Nazi in the face right there, which is a a famous fucking phrase leftists were using, you know, the past couple of years. And if you look at the takes afterwards, I just shared with you guys before. Uh, Forbes magazine had an article about how what he did was a, a, a byproduct of white supremacy absolutely fucking insane i saw another horrific take on twitter today some fucking democrat person uh, about how this was worse than 9 11 and then they had to delete it and say that you know they didn't mean uh, how it was exactly worse than 9 11 but uh muhammad atta didn't get on the stage and receive an oscar after i mean 
Yeah. What? Yeah. What is going on? Holy what? fuck. And this is the problem with blue check marks on yeah. Twitter. They give That's it to point. anyone. They give it to yeah. anybody who has a crazy opinion. Um, you know, I I know you spend a lot of time. I have on crazy Twitter. opinions. I don't got a fucking blue check mark. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I'm saying what I'm trying to say is that there's people on Twitter, and you can't you can't like wrap your head around how they are blue check mark spewing out these insane viewpoints, like a 911. This is almost worse as 911. Absolutely not. Like, how crazy can you be to even say that? But they say that because it gets the clicks, it gets the retweets, yeah, it gets the point. shares. It's all statistical standpoint, and that's that's insane to me. Yeah, you know, I, that I, these I, I, I don't care. Made. I don't care that they said that, right? I mean, like, it's ridiculous. Obviously, I don't mean that. I don't care. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, they have the right to say that in my book. You can say whatever the fuck you want, as long yeah. as you're not threatening actual violence against somebody. In my opinion. Um, it's just insane because you can't say whatever you want. You can't go up there and slap somebody in the face on stage. You'll get thrown in, in jail. You'll be taken away in handcuffs. Your account will be banned on Twitter if you say something that's inappropriate or, or not, you know, kosher by whoever the fuck deems it. It's it's just hypocrisy, dude. I, I don't it really buy is. it. I think the entire thing is fucking fake. Um, I think there's more to it than people believe. It's it's yeah. pro- the, the Oscars is propaganda on top of the fact that they want to drum up ratings for next year. Because like I said, you know, Will Smith is going to have to go on the apology tour here now, and it's going to be this whole big drawn-out thing. They'll probably make a documentary about it, you know. The Academy it's, Award is a win-win for them. Oh, yeah, they're, they it's love it. It's a win-win. Now it's going like to every- be in the news cycle, if, you know. It's, it's also, it, let's be real here now, everybody's distracted from the Hunter Biden laptop story. You know, the, the fact that the president just threatened uh, to do a regime change on, on uh, Vladimir Putin and then, and that he said he told the troops that they were going to be in Ukraine. I mean, boy, everything always works out so perfectly for you know the government when things are 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 going bad is that is that i don't know maybe i'm making too a mountain out of a molehill too many coincidences but i don't you never know there could be that one guy in a fucking dark lit room in a house in dc gets a phone call on the red phone hey listen we need you to set up something for the oscars because we got some sneaky shit that we're doing uh it's uh all confidential you can't uh tell anybody yeah sure no problem boss Hey, you know, hey, uh, Academy uh, director or whoever the fuck is in charge. Hey, listen, I'm going to need you guys to do some crazy shit because we're doing crazy shit over here behind people's back. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's not out of realm of possibilities, man. Too, <laughs> I don't believe in that many coincidences. Maybe I'm yeah. crazy. Maybe it's a, I'm a crackpot. I don't know. Now, can just, I can I get yeah, into the it. meat and potatoes to try to see if maybe you can, you know, okay. if I can make you believe that this might be real? In Good a luck, sense. But, but go for it. Um, so Jada was with Tupac. And a lot of people say that, you know, she was in love with Tupac, right? Um, she, back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. And then Will came along. But Jada, I don't know the the real details in their marriage. I don't know how it operates. But uh, there's a lot of um, talk about that Will and Jada are in an open relationship, an open marriage, where they can go and be in relationships with other people. But as long as they come back home to each other, whatever, um, obviously have the two kids, Will and Jaden. Um and then a couple of years ago, maybe two or a year ago, um, that's when they went on, uh, Will went on her show called Red Table Talk, and they talked about a situation um, about her uh, messing around with Jaden, their their son's friend, August Ames, which is uh, another artist. Uh, she cheated on Will Smith, sat down on the table with him, uh, talking about the situation, embarrassed him in front of the world. Um and that, and then he became that meme, you know, you know him crying. I mean, he's always crying now. Um, but it's him at the table crying, you know. And uh, a lot of men felt um, that Will was being played, disrespected. That Jada is very manipulative, and she's like free caring. She does whatever she wants because she doesn't love him enough. And I, I think that Will loves him, loves her so much that he'll do whatever for her. And um, so that's. You know, one thing to consider, um, and, and also too, is the media is brutal. Uh, tabloids, news outlets, uh, whatever you know, source of uh, of media uh, it comes from, they can be very harsh when it comes to public affairs. And that's the another thing is that maybe he was upset for uh, about people dragging her name in the dirt, um, and he's just tired of it. And she's tired of it. 
And another thing I read, and I don't know how true it is, but she also suffers from alpecia, is that she's losing her hair. And the reason why her hair is that short is because she felt um, it was ready for her to cut off her hair uh, and, and have it that size. And that she, that's kinda why like she if, looked. Kind of like me when you're starting to go really bald, maybe start thinking about shaving all your hair off. Yeah, but essentially, like <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're losing our hair. It's time. It's that you make, the, yeah. you know, it's a big decision. In that, but us guys, we don't really care. It's, it is what it is. But, you know, maybe for a female, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, it's got to be rough to know that, you know, your hair, you're, you're losing your hair or, you know, and she felt she looked uncomfortable, very upset about it. Uh, maybe they had, you know, she, maybe Will knows that she is sensitive on that topic. And that's probably why he did what he did. So um, maybe he at first thought it was funny and he laughed. Then he turned around, saw and her, then saw her gave upset, the look of death. When, and that, yeah, but he now he's, oh, shit, I better do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he had to bail why, himself yeah. out. Every dude has been there, I guess you mm -hmm. could say. Like, you have to, hey, babe, you got to let that slide or, like, you got to let that happen. And it's just, like, his ego was like, oh, I got to defend her. She, you know? she sought him maybe such a mean look that she didn't even have to say anything. He just knew, I just fucked up. I better go yeah. and do something about it. So, at that point, I think Will, maybe, and this is why, I, in my opinion, I think it's real, is that he, he's just tired of his family being dragged. And but what's crazy though too, like you said, it there's a lot of things in there that doesn't make sense. You laughed at the joke first. You turn around, and you see your wife get upset, and but you laughed at the joke, like you did think it was funny, because it was funny. It was I'm harmful. Sorry. It was, it was it, a harmless. I don't care. Joke. That's what comedy is. It's it's. And it was a harmless through, joke. It was. It, it, it yeah. wasn't anything crazy. No, it wasn't. It was funny in my opinion. Yeah, I got it, it right good. off the bat. You know, because I've seen and even G. the way I. he Jane started. Before. He was like Jada, I love you, but like you know. Yeah. G.I. Jane 2, you know, it's a funny joke. Um, it landed. Everybody laughed at it. Uh, Will laughed at it, and she didn't. So it's a lot of things that are odd. Dude, I'm it. sorry, but, like, the punch, too. I mean, maybe maybe if it was real, maybe maybe Will thought he had to go up there and, and put on a show to defend his wife. Maybe he pulled the slap or the punch at the last second, so he just barely got him. He didn't go full out. He didn't punch him. He slapped him after all. Um, so maybe he pulled back a little bit. You know, you could kind of like throw a punch and then like halfway through the punch, you pull back a little bit so it doesn't really hit the person. You know, you kind of like fake punch. Maybe that's and also, to too, I want to uh, state about the um, what uh, I thought to me, what like uh, persuaded me that it was most likely real is that awkward pause at the after he got slapped and Chris Rock didn't know what to do. And he was looking around, you know, like that pause there and people, it was just awkward and and. Yeah, you know, it's I mean, like little could, like that's yeah. hard to replicate that awkward is it though? silence. Is it though? Yeah, is it when you're Chris in the room Rock? With all those people though, dude. Like it's just But the whole know, thing he's too, doing up there, but bro, the whole the whole thing Chris Rock is doing that night up there is an act. He's up there doing a comedy skit, yes, but he's also up there acting and trying to be funny and trying to like manage the show and bring people on the stage and make it entertaining in between whatever they're doing. They're getting out awards to themselves and patting themselves on the back. The whole thing is an act to begin with. Yeah. So, to, you know, I, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's not, you know, it seemed awkward, but it could just be part of the act. Yeah. How hard true. is it to act awkward when you're then literally in the process of acting to begin with yeah. and you do this for a living? Yeah. You know? I would just also like to say, I just want this to be real because that's just a badass move. Um, I also respect the fact that he has yet to apologize. Um, you know, oh, they could um, drag this out now for a couple of weeks. The whole Will Smith, the Chris Rock drama. We'll have yeah. three or four more episodes of Slice of Doom covering it. But how many how many times were uh, celebrities involved in something? And then the next day, their, their, their PR firm is like, hey, you need to put out a statement apologizing, uh, denouncing this. So he's actually not saying, I'm sorry. He's not. He's just, hey, I slapped you, motherfucker. What are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So to well, we'll, me, we'll I see, think though. We'll see, because it's still the first day. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it, if it goes... He, I tip my hat. Do I, uh, do I, um, agree with what he did and how he did it? No, but I do. If it is real, I commend him for not apologizing, sticking by his principle because nobody does that anymore. If this is real, so, no. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, I think I, I get what some people are saying about how, like, oh, you know, in the sh come see me in the streets and say something like that, like that to me, and I'll fucking knock your teeth out. Yeah, fair enough. If the person was actually coming at you and meaning it in some disrespectful, mean way, that's not what happened. It's fucking comedy. It's a joke, right? So for people to like put on that facade of, well, you say something like that to my face in real life and I'll knock the shit out of you. No, you wouldn't. And yeah. no, you shouldn't if you're at a comedy show. 
Yeah. And so, I mean, that's like bizarre that people are supporting that because that's not what happened. I mean, maybe that's just people being like, you know, over the top trying to be funny or stupid about it. I don't know, dude. It doesn't sound, doesn't seem real to me. Seems yeah, completely comedy's being attacked right now. And I, I'm not yeah. going to, um, blame it's, it's just wild because they're, they're literally, I mean, his speech is wild to me, wild because he's saying that what's been done to him is violence. And this goes back to like people who say words are violence. No motherfucker. Violence is violence. violence. What's happening in Ukraine is violence, not words. So the fact that Will Smith literally went up there and gave a speech saying that words are violence. And what I did was the self-defense. No, you can't, you can't self-defense people's words by punching them in the face or shooting them yeah. or launching yeah. fucking missiles at yeah. them or yeah. anything like that. It doesn't and make any is, sense. Which is why I, I, I firmly believe that after that was set, after he did that, there should have been security. There should have been police officers right. escorting him in the back. You don't have to arrest him in, in person, but they should have brought him in the back just to be like, this is not a, you just assaulted a man in, in public. You shouldn't you shouldn't be here, you know, yeah. like that should have happened. But it dude, it's it's white supremacy, though, bro. They don't arrest white people when they do things like that. You know what I mean? Because we have built this this fun, fundamental racist system that protects white people when they, you know, behave like this. So that doesn't happen to white people. Yeah. Go to Forbes dot com and you can read that article. I, I'm I, serious. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. That's crazy. I mean, this is a world we're living in. It. it all this stuff is is just nuts. Everything is just I can't believe out of all these years you get physical violence at the Academy Awards. I mean Oh, I can. That's didn't I show you that graph before? Last year was their worst year. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the ten went from forty made a phone call. Forty something million to uh ten million. You know, last year there was COVID too, I guess, right? Was yeah. the Academy what is this, the Oscars, right? Was the was the Oscars uh remote last year, right? Because they were all fucking terrified that the end of the world was coming and they're all messed up. You know, yeah. like with them muzzles on, like nice good dogs. Now this year they're all having a party. It's great. It's wonderful. A million people fucking stacked in a room together. You know, I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe you know what? I know they were trying to get Zelensky uh, into the Oscars this year, so maybe because he didn't show up because he's literally fighting a fucking war. That you yeah. know they had to do something else to uh, to up yeah. the ratings because and, and they what figured is, out what is he Zelensky's do, right? busy, so let's we got to slap the shit out of each other. Let's just play this out, right? Like, let's say if they got Zelensky right in the middle of a fucking war, like the guy has to stop fighting. And sit in the fucking room and do this fucking speech for all these celebrities that don't give a fuck about him. Don't give a shit about him. Hey, They're going to stand in ovation. Yes. And what are they going to do? You're spreading awareness. You, you're not helping. You're not doing anything. You're virtual signaling at its finest. And and the per, the person who even considered this thought, Amy Schumer, she she should be sent to Ukraine. Yeah, man. To give a fucking speech AK. to Let's them. Go. Yeah. About how we we support you. How about you go over to Ukraine? You can look about, anyone who wants to go fight for Ukraine because they feel so bad about what's going on. And I hate everything comes back to Ukraine right now, but, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> you can you can go to a website online. The government of Ukraine fucking set it up and it will it'll facilitate you getting your ass over there. They'll strap an AK-47 or whatever, the 556, whatever they got. They'll strap yeah. it. Maybe you even get a New York compliant AR-15. Good luck. Yeah. And uh, they will put you in the fight. Or how about Where'd this? You how about this? You don't even have to go fight. If you really feel that 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 worried and 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 you you know uh, you wanted to get Zelensky on and uh, you know Slava Ukraine, how about you just go do a fucking uh, a Ukraine USO tour? Go do a stand up with an interpreter. How about that? Indeed. How about that? You're a comedian. Indeed. You can go do stand up. Go do it on the combat field. You fuck. Yeah. Nah, but you're in Beverly Hills. You're chilling. You're with your fucking million dollar mansion with your cars, eight cars. You know, you have all these different type of services available to you. But they should have brought the whole up. the whole Oscars, like, you know, production to like the key of theater, bro. Or right there in Kiev. They could all went over there, you know, raise a whole bunch of money, help out. You know, that would have been pretty admirable of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, I mean, yeah, I mean, ridiculous. Just just yeah. from start to finish. It will be interesting. Maybe we'll come back a year from now and uh, we'll we'll contrast the the rating numbers uh, yeah. of, of this year to last to, to next year once we get them. What I will also like to say is. Attacking a comedian is your worst choice to do, and I'll tell you why. He, Chris Rock, is a great stand-up. He might have not fought back. He might not do anything about this. But you best believe that you're going to now be in his stand-up, and he's going to come after you with words. And he's probably going to find some things out about you and your family, and he can go and take that route. 
and I think that's the best route ever. Like the same thing Dave Chappelle does. Hey, you want to attack me? I'm going to attack you. But I'm going to use my words, and you're going to get really offended, and you're going to get really pissed off. Isn't that just so goddamn convenient? Yeah. yeah, yeah Not yeah. only was this great for the Oscars, yeah. it's going to be great for Will Smith because there's no such thing as bad publicity, but boy, is it going to be good for Chris Rock. You mm-hmm. just laid it out. He's going to have a fucking a special. Yep. I got slapped. The slap yep. heard around the world. You could come and take that from us, Chris Rock, because that's what we're gonna we're gonna call this, <laughs> right? That's probably what his next special is gonna be called. So yeah, man, everybody benefits from this. There's no such thing as coincidences. I don't yeah. fucking buy it. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you guys want, leave us your thoughts in the comments below. You believe yeah. it? You buy it or not? It's up yeah. to you. Stage or not? Let us know, please. We we I really want to read to see people. Uh, you know, maybe there's things that we didn't cover, uh, and yeah, then maybe. people could sh- uh, you know share different ideas and 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 because I, I I love this. I think this is great. I think it's uh. Cause I'm 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 a little bit confused, but I I think it's real. I I I think it's uh. Now, would you think it's real if he really smacked the shit out of him and he fell back on the floor and you no. and you really saw it? No, you don't think so? No, because damn, bro, I really wish he really hit him harder. You know? Just yeah, to, me too. To I mean, why not? Him. At that point, you you've yeah. already gone that far. You already uh, did no, it because uh, you know you could just have uh, prearranged that before. You know? Now, how about this? Since we live in this type of society, I I really truly think that. These two should box it out. Celebrity death match, bro. Let's go. Celebrity so death settle match. the grudges. See what well, happens. How about like you an old pay per view duel? Like how if you're gonna defend your wife's honor, like what about old style duel? Pistols duel. and dawn. You should have went up there with like two gloves, slapped him in the face, and that's it. That's so how they would have done it back in the day. Yeah. yeah. And and I'm not talking about like modern weapon. I'm talking about like a flint cock pistol. And I'm you guys it. duke it out. It's like the worst ways too. Yeah, I'm with it. <laughs> I'll say it, yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll we'll, we'll uh, pay per view it on uh, Two Doom Men and the Last Slice Podcast. Come I'm hit us bringing, up. I'm bringing the popcorn, <laughs> brother, and a pizza. All right, <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. We're gonna wrap this one up. This was kind of a little bit of an emergency uh, slice of Doom episode, just because of how crazy the situation was and how uh, on fire the internet was. I mean, we didn't even get to talk about all the crazy memes. Uh, you know, th- those were hysterical. Uh, my favorite one was of uh, Will Smith throwing a Pokemon ball. Oh yeah, uh, that was a good, yeah, bro. You had me this morning with that. So, so that's one of the good things about social media, at least, is people know how to, you know, make light of a situation and uh, yeah. be fun of it. So we will be coming out with uh, part two, hopefully later in the week when uh, we have some time to think about some political topics uh, to talk about. And uh, yeah, so where can everybody find uh, part two later on in the week? You can find part two at the Last Slice podcast, the Doughboys channel. Um, we'll put it out sometime this week. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. All right, everybody. Take it easy. Later.